Another baby red tail. One way or another, it's gonna turn into a hundred thousand or more dollar business. Or in Loki going crazy. Fred, we rescued. He was our very first video ever. With okay. All right. All right. Charlie. I will try and talk loud enough so you can hear me. We are just doing a quick little water change on our 350 gallon predator pond here, uh, turtle and predator pond. And it just got really messy. It got really messy quickly. It looks like they didn't eat a lot of the uh, lettuce I had put in here. So it kind of broke down. But anyways, we got to take in another awesome predator fish and I'm really excited about this one. It's one that we've never had. Um, we actually got it from a good friend of ours. Thank you, Katrina. Really excited for this and we will take good care of it, we promise. I'm not gonna tell you yet what it is, but I am gonna tell you it's a really cool archaic looking fish. It actually comes from the rivers of Africa. It's actually a real live river monster. So now for the main attraction, I'm gonna set it here. I'm gonna have to take him over here with a light so you can maybe see in here a little bit. Um, really cool. This is a bicher. I don't know if any of you guys have had experience with a bicher, but it's really cool. They almost look like flying dragons. Um, he's got a really cool name. He does come with a name. So they, uh, Katrina had him for about four years. He's a pretty big boy. I think he's around 11 inches now. His name is Falcor. If any of you, oh, let's do a contest. If any of you can tell me what the name Falcor is from, in a comment down below, drop a comment down below. I'll pick a winner and we'll send out a $10 gift card. So, really cool. So I'm gonna try and pick them up. Now, bichers can actually breathe out of water for a little bit, which is pretty neat. They do have very sharp teeth. Um, I have been told he has not bit anyone ever, but uh, knowing me, look at that, guys. Look at him. Absolutely beautiful monster let him in here nice and slow. Look at that. That is so cool looking. Really good shot of everybody over here right now. We got the tiger shovel nose, which we still need a name for. We got Arnold in there. And here is the Bicher right here, guys. Super awesome. Now I have heard and learned that they do like to hide a lot. So I'm probably gonna get a couple of spots for him to be able to go in and take, you know, cover and hide and feel better just cause I don't want him stressed out. And look at this tick just floating away. Um, I'm gonna try guys. I got a lot of feeder fish right now. I'm gonna try and see if anybody will eat live. I don't know if he's still being really shy. Again, he's only been in here for a couple of days. So um, let's see if Arnold will though. Maybe Arnold will, let me go try. All right, I know they're kind of small feeders. These guys, you know, are monsters. They need bigger, but let's see. Oh, he missed it. Wait, oh, the turtle's gonna take it. Oh, well, the turtle got it. <laughs> Sorry, Arnold. These guys will eat. Look at these guys. Oh my God. Wow, that was crazy. Gone. These guys are monsters, literally monsters. So it's been about a week, guys. It was a really cool rehome we got to be a part of, and he is doing awesome in here. There's actually some other fish. Since since we started recording this, we've actually moved some other rescues in here, which I was really excited about. I'm not going to show you today because it is going to be a whole separate video, but as you can see, it has made it super active in here and really awesome. So there's going to be some cool feedings coming in here, but everyone's doing great and everyone's getting along. So I wanted to update you on a tank over here that we don't talk about too much, but I think is really important. So this is our baby predator tank, which you guys know we have Arowana Grande in here, our Arowana, which you can see her. There she is over there doing awesome. Absolutely love her. Uh, guys, I just thought that was a really cool name I did for the moment. Funny story, someone reached out to us. Uh, I guess, if you guys know Fanatic, uh, someone reached out recently, I guess Fanatic, his manager, Chris, who we've spoken to a couple times, I guess he got an Arowana recently and decided to choose that name. So it's either a crazy coincidence or he saw our video and just thought it was a great name. Either way, I think it's an awesome name. So Arowana Grande is in here. Um, and we had Baby Yoda with Grogu, whichever one you wanna call him, which was our baby Red who is getting big quickly. And we decided to go out and get a couple more in here. So uh, I'm gonna put a quick clip on while I'm talking of us putting them in. It was a crazy day going on that day. We were doing our microgreens and everything. So I didn't get to record that day more than really us just dumping them in. But I'll tell you what's in here. So there are three new additions, really exciting. There is a shovel nose, which you can see him right there. 
beautiful, cool little fish. He is very, very tiny and he's like a stick. It's cool, he will just hover in the water sometimes and you don't even notice him because he's so thin. There is another baby red tail, which he's the cutest thing in the world. He usually hides, yep, there he is, right over there. Guys, we're gonna need names for these too. And then there is another guy who is hiding underneath the filter in there, if you can get him, babe. Um, and that is a hybrid. So what's crazy about it is the hybrid, if you guys don't know what that is, it is a mix between the red tail and the shovel nose. And so we, they call him a hybrid. He will actually get bigger than everybody. He can get well over three feet long, which is crazy. So let me throw some food in here. And guys, one of the main reasons, I know if you guys have followed us for a while, you know that we do mostly rescues here. So we have some very large fish on hand. Uh, a lot of our red tails, I mean, most of our red tails are rescued. And you know, we have some other large catfish as well. But what we like to do sometimes is we like to get some babies and kind of show you what happens and how quickly they grow just to kind of show you, you know, the whole process instead of just starting with the large rescue. So that's kind of what's in here. Everybody in here is gonna grow very large and will eventually be in the medium and very large pond as well. So really exciting stuff. These guys are already really cool with the with the feedings. The arowana, she, she is super active now with feeding. Look at her go. Obviously guys, one of the things with baby fish, if you're new to the industry and you're looking at getting some baby fish, keep in mind, they do grow especially these monsters, they get very large. And what happens guys is a lot of people will get these fish and then they will grow and they can't keep them anymore. And then they reach out to us looking for us to take them. That's, that's what's happened. That's why we have most of our fish because of that. So we're gonna end today over at the large pond. We'll feed those guys, get them all going. And I think we have a giveaway to get to. So let's get to the giveaway and a good vibe shout out. getting all the monsters active over here as you can see, I'm really cool, but everyone has been doing great in here. We got Inferno, we got Thor and Loki going crazy. Uh, Thor and Loki ate out of my hand the other day, which was awesome because they never do that. And here comes our big guy over here. Look at Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer coming over here. Jeffrey is the best. I love giving Jeff some good pets every single day. I come down here and if I just put my hand in, Usually he'll come right up. There he is. Look at him. Oh, Jeff, you're the best. Love you. So these guys will hopefully be getting out soon before we end up moving down south so they can be out permanently. But we want to get them outside. We want to do one more last outdoor pool pond before we get going. So that will be coming up eventually. Um, I was wrong. We didn't have a, a giveaway to give. We actually have a new one to start right now. So we're going to do a couple of things right now. I'm trying to log in. It's not my phone. I keep putting the wrong passcode. Um, we got to get to our Good Vibe shout out. We're going to start a new giveaway and we have another giveaway currently going on guys if you're interested in it. On our other channel, we did our first giveaway. Make sure you go subscribe and check out the last video because we have a giveaway on there as well. Guys, also over there, our uh, microgreens business is, is really starting to take off which is super exciting. If any of you are interested in that, we just signed on our fifth restaurant. Guys, in like a week and a half, we have five restaurants that want our microgreens in their restaurants, as well as possibly some stores. Really exciting stuff. If you are interested, make sure you go check that out because I will be going into detail on that. So, new giveaway. We're doing a new giveaway. Uh, secret word of the giveaway is what? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Shovel nose. Shovel nose. Awesome. I, that is actually really good. So secret word is shovel nose. If you want a chance to win the giveaway, comment the word shovel nose down below. Make sure you are subscribed, hit the like button, and guys, as always, share this around so we can continue to grow. We're coming up on 10,000. It has been a freaking struggle to get to 10,000, which blows my mind because I think we're pretty awesome. We still need to get to a million someday. So anyways, let's get to our good vibe shout out. It goes out to a subscriber named Samuel Lees who said just sub to the new channel. So glad to be a part of the family. Thank you, Samuel, really cool. Like I said, we're doing a lot of awesome stuff over there as well. We're doing a lot of homesteading stuff, but the big thing for us right now that we're doing, like I said, is that microgreens. We are really putting everything into this microgreens business and it seems to be working right now. One way or another, it's gonna turn into a 100,000 or more dollar business. I can't wait, I'm super excited. Hope you guys have enjoyed everything. Make sure you stay tuned, really awesome stuff coming up next next video with the rescues that we had from TikTok that we moved over. They're doing great. Stay tuned. As always, guys, peace. Subscribe below. Look at this guy. He wants to get They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape.
stove is saying hi. Is doing so much better underneath. 